Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today we're taking a look at more of the new weapons from the Turning Tides DLC, this time is the turn of the Carcano M91 Carbine. I'll give you guys a rundown of the stats and give you a full review with some tips and tricks on what I've found to be the most useful ways to be successful with this new sniper rifle. So if you find this video useful or entertaining make sure you hit that like button before you go. So let's get to it. The Carcano is in a similar archetype to the Gewehr M95, which has been a long favourite of mine. It's made pretty much obvious by the 18 service stars I have with the Carbine variant, in that it is a fast firing sniper without a one hit kill range. The stats are all pretty much smack bang in the middle of the Gewehr M95 and the Russian 1895 trench. It has a fire rate of 80 rounds per minute and a strip clip of 6 rounds, which is one more round than the other two rifles. So if you do happen across three opponents, you will be able to finish them off if your aim is on point. And it also has the fastest muzzle velocity out of the three guns. The damage stats sit in the middle too, with a maximum of 85 and a minimum of 54, making it a two hit kill from any range. So you'll find you'll be picking up a lot of assist counts as kill, uh, assist counts as kills, assists counts. Look, which one is it? I don't know. Or you'll be more likely to finish off already injured opponents. Much like the 1895 Trench, this weapon is designed for you to be very aggressive as its optimum range is within 20 meters, after which it drops steadily to its very minimum at 90 meters. It also has recoil that is very forgiving, so on paper, firing off two rounds in quick succession should see you remaining on target quite easily. In practice though, the Carcano is actually quite difficult to use, at least that's what I've found. The rifle itself takes up quite a large portion of the screen as you can see, which makes the minimal recoil really difficult to take advantage of as you can't really see what you're aiming at, especially when you aim down sight. Although it does fire fast enough to compete with most other weapons if you get the first shot off, it really does rely on you getting the drop on the other player first. Not to say that this isn't obviously a good way to play. In fact, I found I had far more success when I was staying to the peripheral parts of the map and flanking wherever I could. This works particularly well in Conquest as you can take advantage of a teammate's drawing fire for you, but if you do happen to get into a straight up one-on-one -on -one in close quarters, I'd heavily advise you taking a quick snapshot with a Carcano and switch immediately to your secondary to finish the fight. Using a fast firing pistol like the C93 is a good way to increase your chances of winning that battle. From long range you'll find that if you're used to using the infantry rifles you won't have to adjust too much in your playstyle, you'll still be able to hit your targets relatively easily. And similarly to the Gewehr 98, because of the high muzzle velocity you won't have to lead your targets by too much if they're on the move. You will still be heavily reliant on your targets being injured already though, as like I said before it's a two shot kill from most ranges. And because of the extra difficulty using an infantry sniper at long range, it will probably mean that your target is moved out of the way before you can land your second shot. That's not to say that it's too difficult or impossible, you can still pick up kills from range if you work on acquiring your targets quickly, but I certainly found I was always at a disadvantage against those sniper rifles that have a one shot kill range. Now this playstyle isn't for everybody and like I said it does take some getting used to, the learning curve is pretty steep for this archetype of sniper, but if you do put in the effort you'll find that you can make it work really well. It's made particularly difficult nowadays by the recent nerf to auto aim and rotation on console, so if you do get a kill you know you deserve it. It does take a little bit extra practice, but it is literally just down to practice, so stick to it. I have to say I did have a lot of fun using the Carcano after I got used to it, which took a good couple of hours. I stuck with it because obviously I needed to get footage to show you guys, but considering one of the challenges to unlock it is to get 25 kills with the Gewehr M95 Carbine, when you start using the Carcano you really do appreciate the extra damage the M95 allows you to do. All in all, this sniper can be fun to use, but requires a highly skilled hand to be really good. In my opinion, there are other weapons that behave in a similar way that are just better suited to the job, and the more I play BF1, the less and less I see it being used, but this is just what I think. What do you guys make of the Carcano M91 Carbine? Is this your go-to sniper? If so, I'd really like to hear why, or if it isn't, then I'd like to hear about that too. Let me know down in the comments below. So if you've had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Feel free to share this video with whoever and wherever you like. And until next time, that's game over. Peace.